We're back with Child of Light on Instant Replay Live, and I've grown a cat. Yep, it's uh, it's just like the dog poured out of your body and uh, burst out of a pustule <laughs> that expanded. Oh, God. <laughs> it's awful. Uh, it's a calico cat, so yeah. that's nice. <laughs> but I, I lost the dog. The dog went away. So. Oh, man. So, here we are, flying around freely. Um, it's beautiful. It's wonderful. Uh, I, I really like this sense that there's a lot more going on in the background, like there are other islands with all sorts of their own, you know, things happening. That looks like a door, can I? Yeah. Locked. Locked. Fools. Drats. I mean, not fools. <laughs> they're, they're, they did exactly what they're supposed Fly, to. Fly, you fools. But it, it feels kind of like we were talking about in a previous episode. I forgot to start the timer. Hang on. <laughs> there we go. This is the best that we've done in remembering to start the timer. Is remembering 30 seconds into the episode. Um, it feels like what we were talking about earlier with world building in Children of Men and other movies with, mm -hmm. like, there is this sense that other things are going on outside of us. Including these animals running around in the background. That's true, too. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, that's, that's you know, like animals in the background. Having that kind of extra... Filler. Yeah, that's, that's the world building we put into our Let's Play. Right. <laughs> we want to we want to share with the world. And I think that's that's the kind of nerds we are. There's a lot of different people that that nerd out over different things. Um, and one of the things I nerd out over in particular is a sense of scope, that Tolkien-esque vastness, you know. Um, uh, so and and th this world has a sense of history uh, as myself, you know, I, I like to write my as a hobby in my spare time. Good thing. Um that's a this this kind of giving that lived in feel is really great. Yeah. Um, and uh, and yeah, and that world building. I mean, we've been working on your world building mm -hmm. a bunch lately. On on you know, you're trying to write your the great American novel, your first book kind of thing, <laughs> yeah. your first complete book because um, you've done a lot of a lot of writing. But oh um, yeah, I, I I have my my biggest issue as a writer is that uh. I write a lot of things and then I get excited about it in another world and I jump into it. Mm -hmm. um, Ooh, just... Or I, I, I get artist syndrome, which is I grow really, really critical of something that may be good, maybe Absolutely. less good, but yeah. um, I think a lot of people can relate to just never feeling like what they've done is quite where it needs to be. And that's certainly been the story of this, this Let's Play, um, which is, <laughs> yeah. you know, we started off trying to find silver lining in some of the stuff we started. I think we could probably skip this battle. We'll have plenty of battles right, ahead. That's fine. Um, but uh, well, we don't, we started off started off by trying not to put like we threw away a lot of stuff, and then finally we reached that point where we're like, maybe we need to just use what we have mm -hmm. to feel like we're making some progress, and that that's a hard um, decision to make as a creator because you want to always like put out the product that you think. Oh, is this the same wolf from the beginning of the game? Yeah, yeah, it is. Nice. You want to put out a product that you're you're proud of and that you think you did your absolute best on, but sometimes in order to get to your best, you have to practice, and so you just have to put something out, create, for the sake of creating. Mm -hmm. I, and I don't know, maybe Let's Play doesn't count as creating. I don't want to get pretentious. Sure. On on you know this game, but the point being that you know we we put out some less quality episodes so that we could have practice with doing it. And I think we're getting better the more we do it. We're not there yet. We're not perfect. Uh, well, it'll never be perfect, but we're not where I necessarily envision us someday getting. I want to just try this. I don't know if I should. You're I should probably to. tumble a... Oh, yeah, I won't even be able to, so I should defend. No, okay. that's right. All right. Um, I mean, I think, I think Let's Play is definitely... It, I can say it requires a lot of creative energy. Um, and amongst other things. Spider, I didn't realize. Um, I won't make it now, so. Let's see, I can slow down this guy. Oh boy, this sounds like this I'm starting to rein in its complexity. Yeah, I'm, uh, I need to pay attention, and I'm not. I'm talking up too much. But no, I, I think it it's a fun conversation to have uh, where you're 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 creating. For the sake of creating is a... It almost sounds like it could be a bad thing, but I think it's a good thing. I think it's worth putting out content 
so that it can be evaluated, mm -hmm. it can be digested, and you can get better as a result. I yeah. Know, I've, I've probably driven that point home well enough now. I've said it so many <laughs> times. But uh, that's kind of where we are with our, our show. Right. So I wasted that starlight. Oh, it goes to the next target. That's cool. die soon, but... Yeah, I'm just gonna um, more. Whack. Yeah, and I, I think, you know, it's a, it's a great... Uh, the small triumphs of, of trying to create this Let's Play and just making steps forward is something that I think uh, whether it's in writing where you're, where you're or, or art or where you're criticizing the work you've done and having a hard time moving forward, the greatest thing you can say is just keep on going forward, you know, just keep on making content, uh, watch yourself get better, accept that you are getting better in some cases, but yeah. also be aware of when to criticize yourself. Yeah. Um, but I think I think it's easier to criticize yourself than to say that you've done well, um, in, in a lot of cases, or at least my personal experience. Exactly, it depends on the person you are, but I think mm -hmm. I agree because, you know, I, I, I've tried my hand at a number of different things. I did my blogging, I did web comics, I did um, RPG book writing, mm -hmm. and all of those things like took me far longer than they probably should have. I like this giant. It kind of looks like you. <laughs> really? <laughs> Jeez. I don't know how to take that. Um, all these things took me so much longer to do because I kind of berated myself into thinking I had to be perfect. And I think the best advice for anyone who's doing a creative endeavor is to just do it. Yeah. Don't stop doing it. Just do it. All right. Um, so they're all too far for me to interrupt, so it doesn't matter. So let's do an action. I really want to just see what this does. It, uh, Ailment. So that's like if they poison me and yeah, stuff. Yeah, or if they stun you. or. All right. Forget that. I'm just going to hit. Um, it seemed to work pretty well on these guys. It was doing like 30 damage before. Yeah. So that seems effective. And for him, um, you're slowing them down, but they're... I'm going to try to slow this guy down. Okay, so they're, they're going to take a while, though, so yeah. let's try a starlight on the giant. Oh, turns out I could have actually hit that wolf, but oh well. Ooh, and a... Ouch! Yeah, I'll, I'll be healing you in just a minute. Holy smokes. All right, tumble. See, so you can't hit this, this guy right here. Yep, yep. that one. Oh, damn. Not, yeah, not it's enough. Okay, though. All right. Uh, the next couple hits on those guys will take them out at least. Yeah. Oh, which one is it? Man, so this, this is another challenge inherent to Let's Plays is uh, we, are, I think, are gamers who get very... Uh, focused. Focused. Yeah. And uh, we've been actively trying to, you know, not get so distracted by everything that's yeah. going on. It's but, very difficult um, to not get locked in and to be into the game. It it might help if I were to play a game... Well, I'll say this and then I'll counter it myself. If I were playing a game that I had never played before where I didn't have to be so into it, but then we tried that with Borderlands, um, and we realized that, like... Well, I realized for my purposes, playing a game that I had played so much like Borderlands didn't work for me at all. I was just completely bored. That borderlands... Oh, man. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, I'm so witty. So I've pretty um, much done all I can this fight. Oh, uh, so I, I need healing use... badly? Yeah. Um, can I? If I use healing tonic on him, can I apply it to her? Or or they're both hers, actually. I don't know. To Jester. All right, so I don't want to do that. Uh, I'll just do act and tumble. But and I would probably hit. defend with uh, Aurora. I was going to heal. Oh, okay, sure. I can, well, I can't slow this guy down. That's okay, we'll act before, apparently. And I'm gonna knock her and knock that one out anyway. Oh, I am Sweet. slowly regenerating some, some juice, though. Alright, alright. Um, act, tumble, boom. Act, slash, boom. Let's see what goes. Nice. Nice. And also, slash. So E can get interrupted again. Yeah. Um, so playing a game that I'm experiencing for the first time means a lot more to me. It means I can have a lot more to talk about. Um, but it also means that I'm going to get sucked into a scene that I want to really experience because right. I am a gaming enthusiast and I want to be a part of that action and I'm going to forget to talk on the Let's Play. It's yeah, dangerous. It's, it's, it's a challenge. 
Oh man, he went fast there. Yeah, that was crazy fast, but that's um, alright, he had Jester. We're doing okay. I think. <laughs> I, I don't have any indication of his health. Other than that, he just started leaning over, so as I said that, he gave us an indication. Yeah. Which is nice. I like that too. It's way more natural than a health bar. It's. Like, look how beat up he is. Um, mm, yeah, my, my favorite example of that is actually. I don't. Uh, there might be some better oh, examples, but. Now he's standing back up. Um, Ganondorf's cape in Ocarina of Time. Uh, oh, yeah? Yeah, when you're hitting him, it, it goes against holes in it. Tatters. Or actually, no, there is a better one. I don't know that you've played Shadow of the Colossus. You've I, not, I've you've seen it. Let's Plays of it, yeah. so I'm okay, um, yeah. The, the the slow deterioration of the main character. Uh, nice. Wander, that he, was a perfectly time critical. Oh, very nice. Uh, uh, the main character, he, he gets paler, his yeah. clothes get worn down, not just because he's, you know, going through these crazy battles, but because uh, he's he's uh, getting drained as per the story. And that's just such a wonderful... Uh, the, I think something games don't do often enough is tell stories visually. Yes. Um, when they have that opportunity as a visual medium... Mm -hmm. To really do that, yeah. Which actually, another game that I really want to tell, uh, do a Let's Play of is where we're going. Um, okay, but we're not going to go there now, because we'll do that when we return for Instant Replay Live. <laughs>